All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another mini series of 904 Fishing. This is going to be my how to surf fish series. This first episode is going to go over the basics of what you need to get started fishing today. I get this question a lot. I get it from emails, Instagram posts, Twitter, you know, DMs, uh, Facebook messages, people on the beach stopping and asking me. And a lot of it is usually something along the lines of, hey, I just moved here from insert northern, you know, state. Uh, how do I get started surf fishing? The short answer is you don't need all the fancy stuff that I've got. I've got a lot of stuff that I've fine-tuned over the years and I've kind of, you know, uh, tailored to my taste kind of deal. You, you don't need a thousand dollar rod and a six hundred dollar reel. You don't need none of that, alright? So right here, this is my very first, we're gonna go over the rod and reel first. This was my very first combo that I got started with surf fishing. As you can see, it's a Shakespeare Alpha. It is a nine foot rod, medium heavy action. Don't know how well you're gonna be able to see that, but that's, you know, the specs on it. Um, this rod that I'm holding right here, this was my original one and it's five years old. It is definitely showing its age. You can see it around the eyes. Uh, the rod definitely has damage on it. Definitely has its wear and tear, um, but it's held up dutifully over the years. I caught my four and a half shark, four and a half foot shark on it last year. Uh, my brother caught his three and a half foot shark on it last year. And then another buddy of mine was borrowing it and caught a four and a half foot shark on it last year as well. So this rod has held up wonderfully to large fish, all kinds of fish, very tough, very durable. And it's like I said, it's been good to me for five years. So it, this was a $40 combo that I took the reel off of. Um, typically when you get combos like that, the reels aren't really worth much, but the rods are. So this was a $40 combo I got from Dick Sporting Goods. And uh, you guys are more than welcome to you know go check that out. I'm gonna put a complete list in the description below of what you need to get started today. Um, one thing I would recommend doing is replacing the reel just like I did. This was my original reel that I got five years ago. Uh, when I first got a job in high school, I, uh, one of the very first things I bought was this Pen Pursuit 2 right here. This is a 5,000, I believe. Five, yeah, 5,000. I've got 20 pound mono on it right now. That's really all you need. You don't need to go crazy with your line. You don't need 60 pound braid. You don't need, you know, 80 pound braid. You don't need 40 pound mono. If you go that high with your line, you're gonna have trouble casting it, especially on a shorter rod like this. 20 pound mono is all you need. All those sharks I mentioned, 20 pound mono. I caught a 29 inch red, 20 pound mono. You don't need super crazy heavy line to do this. 20 pound mono is all you need. Um, this reel, the Pen Pursuit 2, I think this was another $40 reel. So all in all, it's an $80 combo, which as far as surf fishing concerned, isn't bad considering I've got combos on the backboards that are getting into the two and three hundreds now that I've, you know, kind of gotten into it more. But if you're kind of exploring it and you need to think, hmm, I wonder, you know, if this is something for me, cheap combo. I can't say that enough, cheap combo. Um, your basic rig to get started is gonna be a high-low rig. Um, you're gonna have a hook at the top, hook in the middle, and then your weight at the bottom. Your line ties at the top right there. So this is where your line will attach. You've got a hook here, a hook here, and the weight here. For weight, I would suggest between two and four ounces. I usually shoot the gap and go for three ounces. Um, I find that that typically holds up against most surfs. Um, if you've got a super heavy current, you might have to increase, but three ounces should hold you pretty well. So that's how that rig should look once you're done with it, of course, with hooks on it but I see a lot of people kind of mess that up. You know, they tie the line here or in the middle. They, uh, you tie the line at the top and then the weight goes on the bottom, simple as that. For hook sizes, again, you don't need super big hooks. Big hooks do not mean big fish. I caught, let's see, the four and a half foot I caught last year was on a three-aught hook. <clears throat> three-aught hook, the three-foot shark that my brother caught was on a two-aught hook. And my red was on a two watt hook. This is a two watt hook, just to put in size comparison. All right, that's that's a two watt hook. You don't need a massive hook to catch big fish. You just need to have the hook. So what I typically do is I go with a one aught, which is a one slash zero. I don't know why it looks like that. I don't know why it's said like that. It's just a one aught hook. You need a one aught and a two watt hook. That is what I use. So typically what I'll do is I'll put the one aught on the top and the two aught on the bottom. Um, don't ask me why, that's just what I do. Um, your bait, until you get used to surf fishing, pick yourself up some of these, all right? This is fish bites. You cannot go wrong with these. I carry these with me every time I go fishing in case the shrimp isn't working or the clams or the cut bait 
or the live mullet or whatever I'm using isn't working, this will catch you fish no problem. No problem. What this is is a bait that uh, I buy the strips. You can buy them you know, pre-cut, but I buy mine so that I can actually cut it myself. So what it is is it looks like gum, but you cut this into about an inch strip. That's about how far or how long one I would put on it. And then you just put your hook through it. And then inside of it, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can't. Inside of it, there's actually mesh so that it won't fly off your hook and the fish can't steal your bait. So this is basically a foolproof bait on how to catch fish from the surf. Now with this, you're probably gonna catch whiting and croaker and spots and things like that, but you're gonna catch fish. If you wanna catch fish from the surf, this is what you need to do. So we're just gonna recap everything. Get yourself a nice cheap combo. Don't go crazy, don't get expensive until you know this is something you wanna do. Get yourself a high-low rig, or I call them tree rigs. Grab it from the wrong point. High-low rig or tree rig. Get yourself a three ounce pyramid sinker. Tie the 20 pound line to the top of that. Get yourself some one aught and two aught offset circle hooks. I use Gamagatsu. That's just the brand that I use. I've never had one break and I trust them. But that will get you started surf fishing. Look out for my next um, episode in this mini series. I will be going over rod sizes and rod types, actions, tips, things like that. Um, just to give you kind of a summary of what this is all going to entail right now, I've got rods, reels, lines, rigs, and weights, um, as well as baits. Um, so six episodes are going to come after this one. Uh, but I'm going to go in depth on all of it, give you all the information that I have, and teach you how to surf fish the best that I can. Uh, a lot of people have asked me, so here you go. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Uh, if you ever want to message me, feel free to message me. This isn't me saying, oh, stop messaging me. Just watch this video. No. Message me. Ask me questions. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. I might not get back to you right away because I do get a lot of messages, but I will do my best to get back to you as quickly as I can. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of 94 Fishing. I hope it helped you, and I'll see you out on the beach. Fish on.